check out these unbelievable crowds that are here on the mall. <laughs> Truly an unbelievable group of people. It's hard to believe that just over 24 hours, Barack Obama will occupy the most powerful office in our land as the 44th president. And as the excitement is building here in Washington, there are still a lot of problems that are going to await Barack Obama as he takes the oath of office. We want to bring in our NBC News presidential historian, Michael Beschloss. Hi there, Michael. Hi, Nora. Are you getting used to that audience? I think you're going to get to the point where you can't do without <laughs> yeah. it. Exactly. You're going to have to compete with the crowds here, but I know they all want to hear what you have right. to say. <laughs> no, I'm not so sure. Well, listen up, everybody, because we put together just a small snippet from some past inaugural addresses. Let's listen. Great. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. You know, as we listen to those words, Michael, uh, what strikes you about what Barack Obama will have to say tomorrow before the nation? Well, you've just chosen three legendary moments in inaugural history, so if that's the bar he has to get over, it's going to be a high bar. But Barack Obama, as we've discussed, is one of the legendary orators of American political history. But, you know, each of those moments that you showed really made each of those incoming presidents more of a leader than he was before. Franklin Roosevelt was elected by a landslide, but many people thought he was, bizarrely enough, a little bit of a lightweight. Walter Lippmann said that he was an agreeable man who would like to do good things, but Lippmann wasn't sure that he could, could, could really accomplish them. John Kennedy had been elected by a hair breadth, very contested election. The magnificence of his inaugural address gave him influence and stature that he hadn't had before. And Reagan's uh, speech was not only good, but that was almost a mythic day. The sun came out. Our American hostages were released in Tehran almost at the moment that Reagan was inaugurated. It really raised him up in a way that he hadn't been before either. All right, Michael Beschloss, our uh, presidential historian who will be with us through all of this uh, later today and tomorrow. Thank you, Michael.